Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Happening. So, um, since Carlos King has been doing his podcast on YouTube, he has spent a great deal of time talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta, telling us what the show should and shouldn't do, and sometimes giving us a little inside information. But on this recent interview that he did with Nene Leakes, there was just one small portion of this interview that told us a lot without telling us a lot, if that makes sense. So during this interview, um, Nene admitted that she does not watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Carlos King tried to catch her up on the current cast dynamics. Now, when Carlos reminded Nene that Sheree was a part of the current cast, Nene asked, and what is she doing? Carlos responded, well, she started off dating Martel. And then he quickly came back with, oh, right. And she's no longer with him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. who else is working on the show now? Sheree's there. And what is she doing? Um, She started off dating Martel. All oh, right. And she's no longer with him. I got to cross my leg. I'm sorry. And she's no longer with him. And I felt like there were moments of her becoming an anchor. Now read the body language. Um, it looks like Carlos King got a little nervous. Did you see how he quickly moved on and changed the subject and started talking about Sheree being an anchor? Um, mind you, Nene brought up Martel Holt, who is a cast member where Carlos King is the executive producer, but he didn't even acknowledge what Nene said. He quickly moved on. And to me, that spoke volumes. Um, it almost seems as if he was worried that she would probe and maybe ask if he had anything to do with putting the two of them together. But that's just what I got from that. Now, I could be wrong, you guys, but just the way he totally ignored her saying and she's no longer with him. It was almost like the first time she said it, it was a statement. But then the second time she said it, it was a question mark, it seemed like. But he didn't even acknowledge it. And I know we all just saw and heard it. But for some reason, I feel like Sheree either owes Carlos King a favor or Carlos King owes Sheree a favor. Now, back in 2015, there was an article that said Sheree Whitfield claims Real Housewives of Atlanta producer. So, of course, this was when Carlos King was the executive producer over the show. Uh, Sheree claimed that he promised her a peach after stealing her real estate show idea. So, according to this source, Sheree Whitfield had pitched this idea to Carlos King after she had obtained her real estate license. And Carlos King, in turn, turned around and pitched the show to several networks without telling Sheree. And We TV became interested. He then reportedly sold them the concept without Sheree's involvement and went back to Sheree with a make good offer after he had sold her idea. So on more than one occasion, we have seen that the cast, you really can't trust Carlos King, but... Sheree was made the executive producer of that show. Well, she was given executive producer credit for the show, but only as a consolation prize after Carlos King had stole her idea and sold it to the network. But they said it doesn't stop there. In addition to offering Sheree the co-executive producer credit, Carlos King told her he would arrange for her return to Real Housewives of Atlanta full time and that he was trying to do whatever he could to keep her from suing him. So when I think about Sheree having struggled on the show with her storyline with her ex Tyrone, the little blow up that she had with Drew Sedora and her struggling she by Sheree line, I would not be surprised at all that Carlos King was behind having their publicists arranged for the two of them to get together and to create this fake storyline in order to give Sheree a chance to remain a viable cast member on Real Housewives of Atlanta.
Now, we know Carlos King has a history of stealing people's show ideas or taking show ideas without people's knowledge to other networks, as he did with Escape. And I feel like that's why Candy Burris always when she had an opportunity, she blasted this relationship between Martel and Sheree because she absolutely knew it was fake when she was alerted that they were going to be at her restaurant and um, there was going to be photos taken of the two of them to be released to the blogs. Dating Martel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville. We all like, know here. what he's giving and what he does. So what you thinking? <laughs> like, what's your thoughts on it? I don't want to give my thought. Please. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. What you think? I want to give you my You like thought. it or are you, or you hate it? Love or hate? I don't love or hate. You here I for it? Is he invited to the couple's cookout? Now, Candy, you know Shamia just said she, she loves you so much because you know you're gonna tell the truth. That's what she said. Come on, oh, so what, you, what you thinking? That's what she has. Because she done went from Tyrone to Martel. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want her to be in a situation where it feels like you know, where she's being used for publicity. And I don't know him. Don't get me wrong, but earlier you know. this year. And I gotta be honest, a uh, um, family friend of mine who was on another reality show uh -huh. hit me up to go out on a date with him at Blaze and was like, oh, could you have another table open for us because we're gonna have somebody taking our pictures and videos so that oh, wow. they can post it and da 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 da, like this was something they had. And I was like, uh, okay. Oh, got it. So we, we and we, we they went on the date but no blog really posted, only like one place posted it. But my whole point was here <laughs> now that I see this similar situation, I'm like, uh, oh, is he doing wow. this? Or like, is he, is he genuinely being genuine genuine? or is he yeah. doing the same thing that he was doing with the other person I knew? So that's why I was like, Ugh. So sound off below. Let me know your thoughts about this. Um, do you think Carlos King felt like he needed to, you know, give Sheree an extra boost and an additional favor to keeping her relevant on the show by hooking her and Martel up with this pretend relationship and also having her come over to Love and Marriage Huntsville and making an appearance? Because like I said, Carlos King talks a lot about Real Housewives of Atlanta on his podcast and it just seems like he would be the person that would do something like this. But you guys, let me know your thoughts. Sound off in the comments below. And as always, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.